Welcome to our series, Quotations to Inspire and Uplift, Part 4. I have read this introduction many times, and you can see it in the first three parts. But these are quotations that have sustained and inspired me all my life. It is my prayer that they will enter your heart and soul, bringing peace, calm, joy, and a deep sense of gratitude. This part four contains quotations from the mother. I believe I have already said often enough and repeated that in the physical world of all things it is beauty which best expresses the divine. The physical world is the world of form and the perfection of form is beauty. Beauty is not something purely physical. However, we have said that the best expression of the divine in the physical world is beauty. But it is not exclusive. It does not mean that it is only in the physical world. I keep this next quote near to me at all times. Mother, let beauty be your constant ideal, beauty of the soul, beauty of sentiments, beauty of thoughts, beauty of action beauty in work so that nothing comes out of your hands which is not an expression of pure and harmonious beauty and the divine help shall always be with you and now the mother on youth You who are young are the hope of the country. Prepare yourselves to be worthy of this expectation. Of one thing you can be sure, it, your future, is in your hands. You will become the man you want to be, and the higher your ideal and your aspiration, the higher will be your realization. But you must keep a firm resolution and never forget your true aim in life. To be young is to live in the future. To be young is to be always ready to give up what we are in order to become what we must be. To be young is never to accept the irreparable. Only those years that are passed uselessly make you grow old. A year spent uselessly is a year during which no progress has been accomplished, no growth in consciousness has been achieved, no further step has been taken towards perfection. 
Consecrate your life to the realization of something higher and broader than yourself, and you will never feel the weight of the passing years. It is not the number of years you have lived that makes you grow old. You become old when you stop progressing. As soon as you feel you have done what you had to do, as soon as you think you know what you ought to know, as soon as you want to sit and enjoy the results of your effort with the feeling you have worked enough in life, then at once you become old and begin to decline. When, on the contrary, you are convinced that what you know is nothing compared to all which remains to be known. When you feel that what you have done is just the starting point of what remains to be done. When you see the future like an attractive sun shining with the innumerable possibilities yet to be achieved, then you are young. However many are the years you have passed upon earth, young and rich with all the realizations of tomorrow. And if you do not want your body to fail you, avoid wasting your energies in useless agitation. Whatever you do, do it in a quiet and composed poise, in peace and silence is the greatest strength. It was written on 21st February 1968. For a happy and effective life, the essentials are sincerity, humility, perseverance, and an insatiable thirst for progress. Above all, one must be convinced of a limitless possibility of progress. Progress is youth. At a hundred years of age, one can be young.